I want to welcome you back to Black Side tonight. We're going to talk about LSU's Angel Reese fake outrage against Caitlin Clark of the Iowa Hawkeyes after their 102-85 victory in the national championship game. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. Angel Reese, a tremendous basketball player at the end of the national championship game, which LSU won, did the John Cena against Caitlin Clark, one of the best players in college basketball. The reason why Angel Reese did this is because what she did to the South Carolina Gamecock players, she did the John Cena towards them. But she also did something that was extremely disrespectful to the South Carolina guard. While the South Carolina guard was setting up a play, she dropped back into the center of the lane, basically waving her off and disrespecting her, basically saying she can't shoot. She can't do the basic things in basketball. And it's very disrespectful when somebody does that. So Angel Reese goes on and does an interview with ABC or ESPN, basically saying that she did it because she disrespected her fellow colleagues in the SEC and the South Carolina Gamecocks. But what happened is that Dawn Staley the day before talked about the way they saw certain teams in college basketball. And she discussed how people took a narrative towards South Carolina, like they're good in a bar fight or they're tough. And the same things they said about the LSU team, which is coached by Kim Mulkey. But at the end of the game, Angel Reese does the John Cena. And all of a sudden, there's a massive outrage against Angel Reese, saying that she has no sportsmanship, she has no class, she's taunting Caitlin Clark, in which she was not doing. She was basically giving her the same work that she gave the South Carolina Gamecocks. Isn't that how college basketball and basketball in general is played and how taunting and trash talking is in basketball? I'm glad that you saw Jay Williams, Stephen A. Smith, Shannon Sharp stand up for Angel Reese because they saw what was going on. They saw that Angel Reese was only taunting her because she did it, did it to the South Carolina players. That she basically gave her a dose of her own medicine. But it was many of those out there in a Twitter verse and people like Keith Oberman who didn't like what Angel Reese did, a 20 year old woman. And this is part of basketball. But you got to really think about what this was really all about. It was cool when Clayton Clark did it to South Carolina. And like Jay Williams and them said, oh, she had swag when she was doing that. When she was doing her trash talking and they upset the undefeated South Carolina team. They gave her all the praise in the world. But when the mostly black LSU team in the national championship game goes out there and smashes the all-white Iowa team, you saw this to be an outrage. These are a bunch of thugs, a bunch of gangsters. That's what they saw the LSU Tigers as. Because they might mark mocked Caitlin Clark. But this is how basketball is. See, there would be no words if these were men. Because we expect this from men. We expect the trash talking. We expect the talking 
but when they get on the court before or after the game. So you must expect it from the women. This is what it's all about. This is what basketball is. It's physically and it's a mental part of the game. And here's a team, LSU, that basically came out of nowhere. Finished 34-2. and two. Nobody expect this Kim Mokey team to do anything. And out of nowhere, they're the national champions. But we didn't say anything when this young lady, Caitlin Clark, who was a tremendous basketball player, who's going to do a lot for the WNBA, did the same thing to South Carolina. You didn't think it was no going to be no repercussions to your actions? But we have people out here on social media calling Angel Reese all kinds of names. And she doesn't deserve it. We need to stand up for her. And I'm glad plenty of people in sports media this morning stood up for Angel Reese. Because to me, this is nothing but fake outrage. They're mad that Becky didn't win the national championship team and that all-white team from Iowa couldn't finish it. Now they got it done against South Carolina, but the damn show couldn't get it done against LSU because LSU played one of the best national championship games I ever seen a team play. So this is nothing but a racial issue, I believe. I believe this is a racial issue. I believe that many of the people are mad because Iowa lost, and they lost to a predominantly black team. They lost to a coach that they didn't like because she's a Christian woman. So now Angel Reese has to have tough skin. And Angel Reese doesn't need to come out and apologize for her actions because she didn't do anything wrong. Nobody asked Caitlin Clark to apologize for her actions. She was patted on her back as though she was a damn superhero. I want you to leave your comments in the comment section. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. Hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.